Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bar with my second of three videos recapping my spring eBay purchases. So, um, a little bit of karma came back to get me, I'd say. I was having a heck of a time finding this third item because it's not that. It's a different item in that box. I spent about a half hour trying to find this item. So that's a little karma for me griping last video. But in any case, I have three nice autographs to show you. Two autographed baseballs and an autographed bobblehead. And I'm going to show in the order with which I purchased these and also happens to be the order of coolness. Least coolest to most coolest. And actually, this bobblehead was a Facebook purchase. I'll be honest with you, I was a Facebook purchase, not an eBay purchase. But I only had two baseballs, and I thought, oh, I'll throw this in with that. That'll really make this video pretty sweet. Starting off, I didn't pay a whole lot for a Dave Littlefield signed baseball. It's not, not authenticated. It's on a Bud Selig ball, which is appropriate era. And, yeah, he was the GM for the Pirates and is pretty well regarded for making some really bad trades. So, that was a neat addition to the collection. I've been looking around. If I ever saw one, I'd get one. And I finally went ahead and bought that one. As I just don't really find them locally. I don't. This was a nice one for my pink laces collection. I like to get a lot of pictures on these pink laced baseballs. The pink ribbon baseballs. And, um... We got A.J. Burnett. Yeah, got it for a good price. Tax and shipping included. I got a nice price for it. The COA doesn't really mean much. It's just a paper COA from CertifiedSignatures.com. After about four weeks, I contacted them saying I hadn't received the baseball, and they took care of it. So it worked out all right. Wasn't in any rush for it. So, uh, yeah, that was a cool pickup to get A.J. Burnett. He was with the Pirates. He was a big part of that Pirates turnaround when they finally had a winning record and they made the playoffs in 2013. He was that attitude that that team did not have. He was great. So, yeah, I know my previous video, I was venting on a seller who did a terrible job packing some signed Pirates photo cards. Some of them were water stain, damage, mildew, mold type of deal. Never mentioned it in the title. Called that person. You know, that said some neat things. Well, then I went to make this video. And where the heck did I put this bobblehead? Yeah. Okay, so that came back to get me just a little bit. If any of you thought I was being a bit harsh. But when I bought this, the seller did not have the original box for it. Which is usually a bit of a deal breaker. But for the price point... I always hesitate a little bit on Mr. McCutcheon's early signature because it's not as easy for me to recognize as his more current signature. So I put on the baseball Facebook group Outer Safe, and it came back. So they, they said it was safe as well, so I felt good about it. And we got Andrew McCutcheon. Yeah. That's really sweet. To get him in his AAA Altoona Curve uniform. So I got my man crush on a bit of a random bobblehead. And it's signed. That's great. So that was an excellent addition for my collection right there. So uh, yeah, it took me a while to find this bobblehead. That little karma for me venting on that one seller earlier. But in any case, got three items right there. Nah, eh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. So very good. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, and an autograph and or trading card video such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really do appreciate it when you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.